We are learning a lot more tonight about a homicide investigation centered on a Wilkes-Barre home, a home that's been described by police as a house of horrors. In February, the remains of a woman were found buried in the basement of that home. A month later, the body of the longtime owner of the home was found in a wooded area. 2822 News I-Team reporter Andy Mahalshik is working the story. He's now live in Wilkes-Barre. Andy? Well, good afternoon, Nick and Cass. We are learning more disturbing details about what happened here inside 142 Carlisle Street in South Wilkesbury. As we've said, we've been reporting now for more than a month now. It's being described by police as a house of horrors. We now know that a protection from abuse order, a PFA, was filed by the previous owner, longtime owner, 69-year-old Deborah Fox. As you mentioned, her body was found several miles away from here in a wooded area. That PFA was filed against Jason Race three months before she went missing. Now, Race is one of five people accused in the death of Nicole Cuevas. The I-team obtained a copy of the Protection from Abuse Order, a PFA, that Deborah Fox filed against Jason Race. It was filed in August of 2023, three months before she went missing. Her body was found in late March in a wooded area of the North Cross Valley Expressway in Wilkesbury. Her death is still under investigation, and no one has been charged in connection with her death. Fox writes in that PFA that race threatened to kill me, shot me with a BB gun, and held a knife to my throat. In another part of the PFA, Fox alleges that race kept her locked in her bedroom and forced her to do drugs and weed. Now, race is one of five people accused of torturing and killing 38-year-old Nicole Cuevas and burying her body in the basement of that Carlisle Street home. According to the PFA, race is a blood relative to Fox. It's unclear how he's related to her. District Attorney Sam Sangladoshi says the Fox death investigation is moving forward. It is not yet being called a homicide. Uh, her body was in such a state of decomposition that uh, we're you know, still investigating cause and manner of death. Uh, obviously, it's very suspicious to us, and we believe that it's, of course, linked to the Carlisle Street home where we found Nicole Cuevas' body buried in the basement. For people who live in this neighborhood, this is almost too much to believe. How safe are we really? You know, we lock our doors and we think we're safe, but really, how safe are we? Again, no one has been charged in connection with the death of Deborah Fox. Now, you can see all of our previous reports and ongoing police investigation on our website, pahomepage.com. Back to you. Andy Mahalshik reporting live. Thank you.